Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel called The Fashion Aficionado. My name is Abhi, we talk about lifestyle, fragrances, fashion. If it's your first time here, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload new content. So today, excuse me, I'm going to be talking about, so today I'm going to be talking about the fragrance from the House of Fragrance World. This is actually the first fragrance world fragrance I'm having in my collection. So this has gotten a lot of buzz lately, right? And this is supposed to be a clone of BDK's Gris Chanel. I'm sure most of you probably know what I'm trying to talk about now. So this fragrance is called Francique 63, 55 or 6355. So one thing is the packaging of the fragrance. I don't know whether I was during shipping because the, there's supposed to be an adhesive here holding this to this and the fragrance going in here and this being here but yeah this fell off and yeah everything else fell, fell apart fell, fell apart but this is how it looks but the most important thing is the fragrance right so yeah i'm not mad so here so you have francic written here the ground of fragrance right then on the bottom you have francic Six three five five. Then the fragrance, the bottle looks like this. So the bottle is supposed to go inside and fit into here. But yeah, everything fell apart. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look for a glue or something to actually hold this thing. They should be able to go into this. So yeah, and the bottle too looks pretty simple. You just have Francic written here. This one here. I don't know, it looks, it has this metallic finish to it. It's a bit heavy, not so heavy, it's a bit heavy. And I think it holds in place, so you can actually grab it with the cap, but it's not advisable. But this is Francis 6355. So what note do I get right? Going into the note, like I said, this is a clone of Gris Chanel, BDK's Gris Chanel the eau de parfum so here you have cardamom black tea you have figs in the top notes in the middle notes you have madagascan vetiver you have um moroccan rock rose absolute you have labdanum and on the base notes you have indonesian patchouli madagascan vanilla absolute sandalwood American cedar and tonka beans. So, if you compare the ingredients here to that of Grishana, they are pretty similar. The only difference is for the for this one, they kept mentioning <laughs> the places where they came from, like Indonesian, Petruli, um, Moroccan, Rock Rose, but they are pretty the same um, ingredients. Yeah. So, from the first sniff, what do I get, right? For the first time, I sprayed it on because I've never smelt. Green Chanel before, but the first, for the first time I sprayed this on, the first place it took me to was um, L'Homme Ideal, the Eau de Parfum. I could, I'm not saying they're exactly the same thing, but that was the first thing that came to my mind. And the only thing they share in common is, I think, just Tonka Bean and... Uh, I think Tonka Bean and Vanilla are the only two things they share in common, that it shares in common with the... Um, Grenon Lumidier, the other parfum version. So this, the initial um, mist or the initial smell I got was like Lumidier, the other parfum without a cherry. That nice, smooth, I would have almost thought there was leather in this fragrance because it had that, because Lumidier, the other parfum has leather in it, has that smooth leather. If you, so what I was getting was tone down the sweetness of Grenon Lumidier, the other parfum, remove the cherry this was what i was getting <clears throat> ah this is this is lovely man it was so smooth you couldn't tell this i got this for like 33 dollars or something um i think shake dot like the quality is lovely then as the fragrance evolved as it kept going it started turning into like powder loam at the dry down because this has iris 
in it. For the um the, Grish, the actual Grisha Neil has iris, but this one doesn't have iris. But for some reason I was getting the iris, the iris, I don't know how they blended it in such a way that towards the dry and it was smelling like um Prada Lum from the House of Prada for some reason. So it's almost like a matchup between Grelum Lum EDL, if you remove the cherry, tone down the sweetness, and Prada Lum. Two bangers. That's what I was getting. <laughs> Ah, this is lovely. Immediately, my wife smelled it too. She just, she was, I think she was about to go out and I told her, oh, just smell it. When she smelled it, she just sprayed it on her clothes. <laughs> Boy, it out. It's that good. Like, it's lovely. And I wore it to work too. This, I wore it to work. It lasted about seven, eight hours. And the weaves I kept, it's not overpowering. The weaves I kept getting, I loved it. Like, if you feel grown low media, the other perfume is too sweet for you. You may want to try this out. Fran 66355. If this is how Grishanel smells, yeah, Grishanel is about $250, that range. This one, because this, some places you can get this for like 40 something. But where I got this was about 30 something dollars. So, but yeah, this is lovely. It's very inoffensive. It's just calm. It's also sexy at the same time. So, and that makes this so versatile you can wait in almost every occasion you can wait to work left to me you can wait to work because you won't offend anyone you can wait to work you can wait on a date yeah there's almost no way i don't see you wearing it but in weathers you can wait in spring fall win winter you might want to go heavy on the sprays but summer maybe if this if the dates are not so cold because it's I'm trying to see. Yeah, you can wear it in summer too. If, it's, if the dates are not so hot, sorry. If it's not so hot, you can pull this off too. This is lovely. Like, <laughs> I, at first I didn't, I didn't know what BDK smelled like and I kept seeing reviews for this. I'm like, okay, could this be that good? It's, are people just virtue signaling? But trust me, personally, I like it. My wife likes it too, because she, she's, been wearing, she's been wearing this one and Badi Al Hood. The new one, the Oud and Glory. She's been wearing both of them. She's, she's even layering them together sometimes. <laughs> she loves both of them. So we've both been wearing it. <laughs> this, is, this is lovely. This is so, so, so lovely. Francic 6355. And this is the first fragrance word. Um, fragrance. I'm getting. So I'm almost like I'm getting some other ones. So I think fragrance world, they have a clone of um, Roja Elysium. There's a lot of hype for that, too, but it's sold out almost everywhere. I think it's called um, Divine Asylum. It's sold out almost everywhere. But it's pretty expensive, it's like $70, but it's sold out everywhere. So I'll, I'll see if I can get my hands on that at a cheaper price. Yeah, but this is lovely. This is, if, if, you, are, if you are scared, I think some some, I think some places like Fragrance Bar, they sell like the sample of this one. You can get like the 10 or 15 ml for this if you don't want to get a full bottle. But because fragrances are subjective, right? But personally, I love this. Do I recommend? Yeah, I recommend. But if you don't want to blind buy, go and sample it out first. Then you see for yourself. Well, this, this is a winner. It's a winner. It's a winner. Ah. If I hadn't done my full list yet, this would have made it to it. This is lovely. From 663.55. So I think I've come to the end of this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. In the notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload new content. Stay safe out there. Peace.